Berea's been using Republic uh, for about two years to pick up the trash and recycle. How's that working out? And again, in, in money and in um, the quality of service. Well, money and quality of service, I think, are fine. I think that the, uh, the mayor is very happy, the finance director is happy because we are saving money. Uh, the uh, service is fine because we have a calendar of a year when they're going to be picking up bulk trash, etc. cetera. Um, <clears throat> I personally, I think, was a lone con councilman who voted against the uh, Republic service only because of the issue of the large trash cans. Uh, that has become an issue in the city because uh, we have an ordinance that the trash cans have to be hidden behind a fence or behind the back frontage of the house. And in Berea, we have a lot of one-car garages. And I get calls daily about the fact that people, once they get their trash the next day, they take the empties and they're putting the trash cans in front of the garage doors. And uh, a lot of people are, are opposed to that. Um, the ordinance is there, but the problem of enforcement is another issue. Uh, I don't know if the city has ever enforced that to what they should be if, as being an ordinance, but um, it becomes unsightly at times. Uh, and I can understand if I lived across the street from someone that just kept their trash cans out in front of the house, um, that it would be an issue for me. So I think that's the only issue with, with that re Republic contract. Now, Berea, especially in the older neighborhoods like Polish Village, has some alleys. How does it work in an alley? Is that count as your front or your back? And how, how did that, can you put the can on the driveway there? Uh, I don't know about that. I okay. would think that they would put it on the, on the actual street side, the curb side just because of the size of the trucks and the automatic pickup. You know? Yeah, some of those alleys yeah, are pretty tight. Right. 